Junk in the Trunk fans. How we doing? Uh, it's been not a very long time since my last vlog, and I'm going to post another one. This one's not going to be about politics or life today. Um, it's going to do it about poetry. I, I, I love writing. I love reading. I love the written word, the spoken word. And uh, I've written a few things in my time, and I'd like to share a couple of them with you today. So the first one is a poem that I actually wrote when I was uh, a teenager. I was in a really bad spot in life, and uh, I was one of those guys that just kind of wrote my feelings out because I couldn't express them verbally. And this poem stuck with me over the years. And even though it's dark and you can tell that I was in a bad spot, um, I, uh, I look back at it now and I think, wow, that's... It was a pretty powerful poem. It was really well written. So not often I'm impressed with my own stuff, but I'm obviously impressed with it if I'm willing to recite it to you. So here it goes. This one's called Life by Me. As I venture through the many forests of my life, I make many decisions which are leading me to my death. And a cross between bitterness and strife is tearing the sharpness and boldness of my breath out of me in a final pain-stricken blow. The forests are dense and overpowering in my life and sharp thick leaves are cutting in my throat, and as the forest ends and turns to the sea, I struggle now to merely stay my head afloat, and as I sink into the sea of death, my feet can feel no earth beneath, and I tumble into an endless hell in which I receive all that the devil has besieged. Dark um, was from a bad place, but writing back then helped me get through a lot of things that, uh, that were going on in my life when I was a teenager. And I thought I'd share that with you just because it has a lot of meaning to me and it's stuck with me through all these years. I've never forgotten it. So here's another one I wrote that the parents will understand. Um, this is called God. The child awaits the coming of a dream. That child anticipates a God as it may seem. The child falls asleep for the God does not show. The reason why is a fact that the parents only know. They scorn their children for telling a lie, but do not realize that their own pureness will soon die, for the lies stack up with the coming holidays, when the children stay up to meet the gods face to face, and wake up disappointed on that soul weighted holiday. Interesting take on uh, on a few different things. So, um, and then there's a little bit of prose that I wrote, that um, it's not very long, and I'll explain the meaning of it after after I uh, recite it. There are many paths in your life which must be chosen, and your destiny will draw you through them. Your destiny will remain unchanged. The paths that you choose will separate from the mainstream and take on an embodiment of uniqueness, it will seem. But the paths will all reconnect as destiny goes, for it's impossible to change the ways of destiny's repose. The meaning of that is we all start in the same place in life, and we all take different paths through life. Some of us become rich, some poor, some just kind of scoop down the middle of life. But in the end, it doesn't matter if we're rich or if we're poor, how much money we have, what we've done, we all die. So we're all here for about the same amount of time, and we all do different things with our lives. We all start the same, and we all end the same. So it's kind of a small bit just to get the point across that what you do with the time that you have while you're here is vitally important. So enjoy every minute of your life. Enjoy your family. Enjoy your husband, wives, children to the full extent because this only happens once, folks. So that was a little bit of poetry from me, um, a little bit of prose. Let me know what you think. Uh, if you liked it, repost it on uh, your Facebook page. Um, share it with as many people as you as you. Um, would like to join my channel subscribe make sure you once you subscribe you click the like button down below throw some comments down there and uh, stick with me I'll be posting some more here soon I just want to tell you thanks for uh, visiting dunk in the trunk and uh, yeah I see now that I have my direct TV screensaver on in the background in no way shape or form um, am I uh, <laughs> getting paid to put that up there so uh, thank you guys for tuning in. We'll see you next time on Dunk in the Trunk.